What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going over the recursion and how you can abuse this gun the same way Amara does. And of course, I have an entire build to go with it. So before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Borderlands 3 Mayhem 4 Zane builds, don't forget to join the Zane Nation Discord channel. Link will be in a pinned comment down below. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to literally one-shot Wotan like I did in the intro, and the fight will play uh, later on in the video as well. So the recursion is an Amara staple weapon, but there's a version of this gun literally made for Zane. So let's get straight into the build. So the recursion we are looking for is the 50% Sentinel Cryo recursion. You basically just want to use the, uh, like any non cryo version. This always comes with two elements. So if one of them is cryo, that's fine, but just use the, like whatever's not cryo. Shock, corrosive, and radiation are probably your best bets for the raid. And then, like I said, you want 50% Sentinel cryo. This will be your source that is constantly up of extra elements which is what makes this thing uh, go crazy and do all the extra ricochets. Now, this is basically going to be a high power level recursion, but it's not going to blow up the entire uh, map like Amara does without a couple more annoyance and another strategy we're using later on. But before that, I just want to like go over the guns and finish them. So next, we're using a redistributor with Sentinel Cryo. This is the Zane staple gun. Um, it's actually just a backup in this build. It's still going to be very strong, and um, especially when we activate our extra anointments. But until then, it's not going to be as good as the recursion in this build. Um, like I said, this is kind of just a backup weapon. Uh, you're mostly going to want to be using the recursion for sure. After that, we've got the carrier. This thing goes crazy when you apply extra elements to it and it fits perfectly into this build as well. We need a good weapon for single targets in case there's not mobs around, and you also want this one with 50% uh, Sentinel Cryo if you can get it. Now, just a quick thing for you guys, if you can't find 50% Sentinel Cryo, the next best anointments are going to be 50% um, bonus elements for the next two magazines on action skill end, um, basically, it's always the extra elements on these guns that give you the extra ricochets, give you all that extra damage. So on to the shield and the grenade. Now the shield in this build is pretty important um, to keep like our engine going. We're pretty much looking for the band of Sidorak, or you just want a different, very, very fast recharging shield. You always want your shields to be full. Like I said, this is pretty important to the build for our strategy that I'm gonna tell you guys about later on. You need an anointment on action skill end um, that is not cryo. So you basically want all different elements on your anointments. So different than the recursion element and different than cryo on your shield. That way we'll get maximum ricochets like I've been talking about, and the three guns in this build are built to take advantage of this. Now for the grenade, it literally doesn't matter at all, don't worry about it, just get the third element that you are missing on action skill end. Like I said, we want basically four different elements, our gun, the sentinel cryo, and then two different elements on our shield and our grenade. You want maximum different elements. That's gonna make everything go crazy. It's gonna do a ton of damage, a ton of ricochets, just like you're seeing in the footage. Now for the class mod, we're obviously using the CN Dead. Now there's actually one important stat on this I want you guys to look out for, and that is weapon charge time. I experimented with extra fire rate, I experimented with a bunch of extra reload speed, and it's actually just the super long charge time on the recursion that makes it shoot so slow. So I know I have a nice looking uh, 5 Donnybrook class mod here, but the stats and the perks aren't going to matter at all, I promise. Just find a class mod with weapon charge time, and you'll basically be able to spam your recursion very fast and push out a lot of damage. Now for the artifact, I'm using a snowdrift splatter gun. If you slide and shoot, you're going to get a ton of extra damage, as always, but if you noticed in this footage, I actually wasn't really sliding and shooting at all. Um, I might have done it a couple times, but the fact that I'm not using that says a lot because you can slide and shoot at any time to add um, over 150% extra damage with a snowdrift splatter gun. 
Now, the uh, like I was saying before, and I just want to point this out once again, the weapon charge time on the class mod is what lets you just spam this thing over and over and over again. Now, obviously, we're Zane. We're using Violent Momentum. So just jump around, um, run, and, you know, bunny hop and shoot, and you'll be perfectly fine. So on to the skills. We're using the clone and the drone. Both of these are very important to this build for our anointments. So we actually are kind of locked out of using the barrier the way this build is set up. Sentinel Cryo will always be active. So at the least, you always have a very high power recursion. But when you use Doppelbanger with the clone, that'll activate two more elements on action skill end. It will nuke the entire map. Every enemy in the nearby vicinity that these ricochets can get to will die. Um, and besides that, the most important skill here is going to be Adrenaline. This combined with our Sidorak will always give us super short downtimes on our clone. We'll always bring it up and we'll always blow it up immediately. We'll nearly have 100% uptime on our anointments. And besides that, just copy the rest of the skill trees. Um, basically, this is just what I always experiment with. Um, the earlier stuff is the most important things in this build. So if you want to move a couple uh, skills around, that's fine. I'm actually not using any grenade skills. I don't think you need to at all because like I said, we're literally going to be basically nuking the entire map. So when you like, there's no time to throw grenades. So yeah, when it comes to your grenade, just find the right element to match the rest of your build. Even if you're using literally a common gray uh, grenade. I don't even know if those come with anointments, but uh, yeah, you get my point. So when it comes to the play style of this build, you just wanna cycle your clone as much as possible. One cool little trick is that if you use old U to pick yourself up, that means your anointments will be activated again and you can wreck everything once again in the entire area after that. You're basically looking to keep your anointments up. When it comes to the Wotan fight, keep in mind his barrier does reflect the recursion now so you can't shoot. Um, his shield, but it doesn't reflect the ricochets. All you have to do is shoot through the holes in his barrier like normal, and I believe you can actually shoot an enemy outside of his barrier and the ricochets will reflect in. Um, but yeah, just a cool little trick for how to actually get the recursion through the barriers. Uh, most of our players will already know this, but um, as Zane players, we don't really mess with the recursion as much and it's a extremely powerful weapon you guys even saw in the intro you guys should see in this video at some point in the gameplay um that we one-shotted the bottom half of wotan um another thing i want to mention about the playstyle is that sometimes you don't just want to kill everything immediately like in the valkyrie fights and the wotan fights i don't uh, try to kill mobs. I want as many mobs around as possible so that I can do the most damage to the bosses. Normally the bosses are going to live longer than the mobs so there's nothing to ricochet and bounce off anymore. So you kind of just want to run in circles, um, avoid enemy fire if you can, and just don't kill any of the mobs until you can shoot at the bosses. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And besides that, that's pretty much it for this build and this video. It was kind of a short one for you guys today. But if you enjoyed the build, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Borderlands 3 Mayhem 4 Zane builds. Don't forget to join the Zane Nation Discord channel. Link will be in a pinned comment down below. And a huge shout out, as always, to my channel members. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Thank you for showing big support to this channel. But that's going to be it from me, guys. I'll see you in the next one.
Choose wisely, suckers! <laughs> 